Universidad Politécnica Metropolitana de Hidalgo. Licenciatura en Comercio Internacional y Aduanas. Base de datos. Hi to everyone. This is our first class about Excel. And um, I would like to talk about some Excel basics. Uh, Excel is developed by Microsoft and it is included in the Microsoft Office Suite. This is a software that you can work with when you need to make calculus and data analysis. In Excel, we have documents like tables, where we have columns and we have rows. Uh, talking about uh, Microsoft Office version, we can talk about the version released in 2010, which was version 14. Also, we have 2013 and the last version, which is 2016, also called Microsoft Office 365. And this version also works in Mac, Android, and web platforms. Talking about the Excel screen, we have the work area where we can find the column headers and row headers. Also, in the top, we can see the ribbon and ribbon tabs. We can see the name box and the formula bar. This is the insert function button. Now, let's talk about the ribbon tabs. In the first ribbon tab, home, we can find some commands for the most common functions, like working with the clipboard for copy, cut, and paste. We have font commands, and we can use these commands in order to change the style of each cell. For instance, we can set it as bold, italic, or underlined. Also, we can change the font type, font size, the background, and the font color. In the third group of commands, we can find something about alignment to the top, middle, and bottom, and also to the left, right, and center. We also have the merge and center button. This is an important button because it lets us to merge cells and we, we can work with these cells as if they were one. Next, we have the number commands. These commands let us to set how we want to see the data into a cell. For instance, if we have a number, we can see it like currency, we can see it like a day, or we can see it like a percentage. Also, can see it as a normal text. In the next group, we have some automatic styles. For instance, if this is our title, we can merge, then we can set it as a heading and we can set different styles. Also, we can format automatically all the data like if it were a table, just by clicking in the format as table button and we just have to choose our style.
In the last group, we have some commands in order to work with data. Here, we can see that we have the sort buttons for cases when we have data tables. We can set filters and we also are able to insert functions here. The next ribbon tab is insert. And here we have options for inserting some elements into our workbook. We can insert pivot tables and pivot charts. And we are going to study in a, a specific class about this because they are important and interesting for data analysis. Also, we can insert illustrations like pictures, shapes, icons, and also a smart art. Also, in this ribbon tab, we can set links and we can add comments. The next ribbon tab is the page layout. In this section, we are going to set all the options that we want for printing our workbook. We can set margins, orientation, page size, print area, page break, and a background. When we have different objects, that we are inserting, some objects are before others. For instance, we can have some sh shapes like this. Maybe we want this hair to beside the face. So for doing that, we should go to the page layout and send it backward so we can set the order of different elements that we are inserting. In the next ribbon tab, we are going to work with formulas. This is an important tab because it contains all the functions that we are going to work with. We have the insert function button and it led us to insert a function into a cell. Also, we have the function library, which contains the most common functions that Excel has. We have mathematical functions, financial, logical, functions about text, date and time, lookup and reference, math, and some other function about stats, engineering, cube, Cube is for databases, information, compatibility, and some web functions. Also, we have the name manager, which is important in order to give a specific name to a cell. We also have a button in order to evaluate a formula step by step. And also, we have these command bottoms in order to see which cells are depending on others. At the end, we have some important bottoms about calculation options. These are important bottoms because if we have a lot of data and calculus, we are going to disable all the calculus done each time in automatic. And we are going to set it as manual. By this way, when we change something, formulas won't be calculated until we press the Calculate Now button. The next ribbon tab is Data. In Data, we have some functions about 
how to get or import data like importing data from a data database making queries and connections and here also we can sort all the data that we have in our sheet and we have filters some data tools some tools for forecast which is important in some cases we are going to work with this ribbon tab in a special class next tab is review and here we can check spelling comments and we also can protect all the sheet and all the work in the view table we can set how do we want to see our spreadsheet. This is the normal view. And in page layout, we can see how does the, the sheet will appear if we print the sheet. With page break preview, it's like a mix between normal view and page layout. As you can see, Excel has too many tools in order to work with data. In a specific, we have some commands in order to how to present it in a better way for professional informs.